All right, so we're going to deal with a comment on this video. A lot of you Israelites need to shut the fuck up just to be straight up with you. Especially you Yisraelites and you j you people that call on the wrong name. If you think that Yisrael is how you is how you say, you know, Israel is not how you say it. It's Yasharala. And furthermore, you Yisraelites, you don't have no street ministry. You don't have any videos. You're not doing shit, but you think you're this great man of the Lord that understand prophecy and you don't. And let me say all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This lesson is going to be entitled Mark of the Beast Stupid Argument. Okay? Or Stupid Argument Mark of the Beast. Now, the Mark of the Beast is an end time prophecy, but it's going to be revealed first and foremost to the servants, the prophets. And if you ain't a prophet, you ain't going to get the mystery. Stop acting like the Lord reveals something to you and you ain't even a prophet. And how do we know he's not a prophet? Because here's his page right here. Yakimon or Rakimon Israel. Empty ass page. Nothing on it. And he's been, you know, joined YouTube since 2011. So all you men that out there want to teach or I ain't going to say want to teach. You want to be on the comment board acting like you want to teach. But you got no videos. Shut the fuck up, man. Let's get right into it. Let's prove what I said. If you got no videos and you ain't teaching, then stop trying to teach. Amos 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And if you ain't a prophet, you ain't got no videos. Don't act like the Lord revealed nothing to you, especially something important as the mark of the beast. Just keep your ass quiet, man. Now, let's read this stupid comment. And I'm going to try to go right to the point and read, make this as short as I can. So this is Rocky Mind Israel. And he uh, made a comment on the video. I forgot what video it was. I think it's the one that dealing with the nuclear destruction. He says, I know you're an intelligent man and you know how to read. When you read the Bible, it says, whoever worships the mark or the image or the number of his name shall drink from the wrath of the most high. Brother, you don't worship a chip. The chip is not the mark of the beast. The chip will be used to cut you off from society for not worshiping the mark. What? Or the image or the number of his name. What is it? It's not here yet. The mark will come in a form of worship, worship, worship. That's what it says in the Bible, worship. It's going to be something we're going to have to bow down to. If not, we'll be cut off from society. They will turn off our chip. We will not be able to buy or sell. Why? Because you didn't bow down so your chip was turned off. What a dumbass. What if that's the case? Then why, just, why not just not take the chip? That way you won't have to... Have to turn it off. See, he knows that it's the chip, but he's arguing that it's not the chip to try to be deep or to just to be uh, contrary. And this is a growing spirit with Jake. It's a stupid argument. You basically admitting that the chip is the very thing that they could turn off. We've been over it, over it, and over it. The karagma is the chip inserted in you. But let's prove something here. First, when you go into Second Ezra, right? And you know what? Before I go there. Let's show you something. When you read in Revelation 13 and 16, it does say or right right here. Uh, Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. Now, first and foremost, right here, the word mark is karagma. This is what you have to understand. The mark itself is one thing. It's, it's not all those other things you're talking about. Worshiping the beast, when you take the chip, you're worshiping already because you're depending on the system. You're looking to the system as, as God to you, as a God to you to provide all things for you. You're already doing that, man. And the number of the name is with inside of the of, of the chip because it has in the barcode a barcode in the chip which numerical value is 666 so it's really all there together but it's not all the same thing the word mark is karagma and we go over this time and again it says a stamp and imprinted mark so it's going to be literally something put in you right down here a thing carved sculpture graven work so they're going to cut into your flesh 
a subdermal thing. They're gonna cut in you and physically put it in you. You just admitted it. They're gonna turn your chip off. This says a scratch or etching, i.e., stamp as a badge of servitude. So if you yield up and serve these this idol, because that's what it is, you're already worshiping by taking the mark, by taking the chip. You're already guilty of worship. Now you're getting caught up in the language because in 17 it says that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. This guy thinks that it's multiple choice. No, you're going to be guilty of all three by taking the chip. Let's prove that because it says or right there, right? But in Revelation 19, this is what it says. Revelation 14 and 19, excuse me. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worships the beast and his image and receive his mark. It didn't say or, it said and. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mystery into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb so you're going to be destroyed if you take it and it gave the key it says and it didn't say or if any man worship the beast and his image and Receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand. So there's two different things. The mark of the beast is one thing, right? And worshiping the beast in the image is another thing. It's not all the same thing, but it is all inclusive because once you take the mark, you're going to be worshiping. You're going to be guilty of worshiping the beast in his image. Let's prove that. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16. And I'm going to go ahead, verse 67. You can read this whole chapter. But I'm going to read from 67 and 68. It says, Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. This is for the elect. Verse 68 says, and I'm going to bring it up right here. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. What's the burning wrath of the great multitude? These different nations that want to get at you as Israelites and they want to kill you and destroy you. Namely, him that's going to come in like a flood, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. There's a great multitude of people that want to destroy the Israelites. All nations, Psalms 83. And they shall take away certain of you. And then what? And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Stop right there. How are they going to feed you being idle with things offered unto idols? Because you're going to have to take that damn chip in order to eat to buy and sell you see that feed you being idle with things offered unto idols what's offered unto the idol it is that mark of the beast when you take it you're already worshiping the system which is the which is the image of the beast that's what you're doing see jake don't understand that because you're too busy trying to be goddamn deep see so a couple of things it's not the form of worship like you're thinking bowing down and worshiping because that don't make sense and if you and you're guilty, if you said it, now let's read this stupid comment again. I know you're an intelligent man and you know how to read. When you read the Bible, it says whoever worships the mark or the image or the number of his name. Yeah, it does. But it also says and all those things are going to be done just by taking the mark. Shall drink from the wrath of the most high. Brother, you don't worship a chip. Yeah, but by taking the chip, you're worshiping the image of the beast. Idiot. The chip is not the mark of the beast. The chip will be used to cut you off from society for not worshiping the mark. What? Or the true, or the image, or the number of his name. Again, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. The image of the beast is the system. The number of his name is the numerical value 666 inside of the barcode inside of the chip. If you take the mark of the beast, which is the chip, you're going to be guilty of worshiping the image of the beast, right? They're going to feed you with things offered in the idols. Feed you being idle with things offered in the idol. And it's already got the number of the beast inside of it. What is it? It's not here yet. The mark will come in a form of worship, worship, worship. We already explained it. That's what it says in the Bible worship. It's going to be something where we're going to have to bow down to. If not, we'll be cut off from society. They will turn our chip off. Well, when you take it, you're already bowing down by taking it, by yielding up your members to this society, to this beast, trusting in them, because the beast is the empire. NATO, Babylon, uh, which is America, I'm sorry, 
Babylon the Great, which is America, NATO, and the EU. Together, the revised Roman Empire, this is the beast. The ruling world structure. He says, uh, it's not going to be something we're going to have to bow down. It's going to, slack you. It's going to be something we're going to have to bow down to. If not, we'll be cut off from society. They will turn off our chip. Well, why, like I said, why not just not take the chip? <laughs> you, you're already admitting it. We will not be able to buy or sell. Why? Because you didn't bow down so your chip was turned off. Oy vey. What a dumbass. He knows it is the chip, but yet he don't want to admit it. But that's okay. Another thing is, they're going to deceive a lot of people. If it was something as simple as just bowing down and worshiping it. So when, let me get it straight. When you bow down and worship it, and then they're going to give you the chip. So that way you can buy or sell. You already know it's the, it's the chip. You can't buy or sell without it, right? Why would you just bow down and worship, but then just not take the chip? You don't know what you're talking about, man. Be quiet. And it tells you, uh, I got to find it. They're going to deceive many people. So we know it's not just a form of bowing on your knees or bowing to some image. Many people are going to be deceived by it. Revelation 19 and 20. And the beast was taken. And with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. That's the, the system and the false prophet, their, their system of worship. The false prophet is the Roman Catholic Church. The beast is the empire. And the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them see many people are gonna be deceived into taking it how are they gonna do that they're gonna deceive them with celebrity status other things other miracles that are gonna be done such as they're gonna tell you when they give you the chip if you're blind you can see again if you was deaf you can hear again if you didn't have intelligent thoughts this thing can help you think things and they're gonna come up with other devices they're gonna deceive many people to take it because everything is is um uh impressed upon that chip that device right that uh, uh, technology, that's what it is. It ain't just no stupid worshiping some image or some idol. We already explained that. With, with which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image. See that? It's not all worship his image, it's and. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. See that? So the system going to be destroyed. Um... The whole empire is going to be destroyed and their system of worship is going to be destroyed, which that false prophet church, the Roman Catholic Church, okay? And all the daughter churches that come along with it, all of them are going to be destroyed by the nuclear destruction. And that's just what it is. And I mean, you can see the different intricacies in the scriptures, but see, Jake ain't seeing that because why? He's not a servant of the Lord. He's just a nigga on the comment board that knows he's an Israelite. This is Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon him, upon them, and judgment was given unto them who get the thrones. You shall sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the Israelites. And I saw the elect of the Israelites. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh and for the word of the Most High. And this is also elect Israelites, right? Those uh, martyrs and different people that, that perish because of the word. Which go right into the elect of the house of Israel. Now, let's say you're a Christian and you're not an Israelite. And then you went over to Africa on a mission and your damn head got chopped off of being a Christian. This ain't talking about you because you're not even an Israelite. It don't cover you. You just died for a false religion. Anyway, it said, here's the key. In which not had worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark. See that? Three separate things. You worship the beast by taking the mark. Right? And his image. You this is how you worship them. But it's three separate things. You don't just worship and then that boom, they're gonna put a chip in you. That's stupid. When you take the chip, you're already bowing down to the to the society. You're you're yielding up your members to let them cut inside of you and insert their tag, their system of control over you. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Why does it say that? They got brain chips. They got chips that can go in your hand. And these things are going to be lying wonders. They're going to do certain things. And then you did get one thing right. They can just cut your chip off at any time. But the whole thing is that doesn't matter if they cut it off or not. You took it and then you're going to be guilty. So fuck the, you know, the consequences. You took the shit. That's the whole point. You can't take it. The chip is going, it's going to link you to the society. You know, it's going to... Uh, um, you're going to be guilty of worshiping the beast and his image. And you're going to have the number of the beast inside of you when you take that chip. 
Period. Why Jake would just want to argue? But you can't argue because your ass is blocked. And which had worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands, either hand, left or right, and they lived and reigned with the anointed a thousand years. These are all those of the elect that didn't take the mark. And I mean, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to really say about it. So, Aunt, you was going off, trying to be deep, and you was dancing around the whole truth the whole time. Why does it matter if they turn your chip on or off if the chip ain't the mark of the beast? Rocky Mon, yes, real, you, you assholes, you people are stupid. All you people that are not prophets, you ain't teaching shit the fuck up. Because the Lord didn't give you the mysteries. He gave the mysteries to the men that's out there risking their lives. That's who, the, who got the mysteries, and we're going to teach them to the rest of the house of Israel. That's it, brothers. This has been, you know, what, however I titled it. I don't know exactly what the title's going to be. I think it's going to be Mark of the Beast, Stupid Argument. Anyway, all praise the Howl Bashim Howl Shah. Shalom.